tests can be completed automatically using specially designed software. Here are two examples of automatic tests being completed by Fantastic and TechTite software packages. In order to complete an automatic test, you'll need to connect your gauge to a computer. The DM2 connects with a USB cable and the DG700 with a serial cable. You'll also need to connect your gauge to a fan for automatic fan control using either an Ethernet cable for a DM2 or a 3.5mm fan control cable for the DG700. To use the software, enter customer and building information in the specified fields. You'll also need to know climate information, like interior and exterior temperature. However, more specific climate information can be selected automatically by choosing from a predefined list of North American cities. Starting a test is as simple as pushing Start Test. Of course, you'll want to make sure that the correct testing parameters have been established beforehand. Fantastic users can select between nine testing protocols, including ASTM and CGSB. TechTite users can test to the CGSB standard. Of course, both software packages allow custom test settings to be established. The custom Fantastic test you see running on the screen is taking four initial and final bias pressure points. It's also taking three test points between 25 and 50 pascals. The readings will be averaged over two seconds. A custom test using Fantastic is capable of taking up to 12 bias pressure points both before and after the test, as well as 12 test points. Those readings can be averaged over any length of time. The TechTite test you see running is taking a bias pressure reading both before and after the test. It will take three test points between 25 and 50 pascals. Each test point and bias pressure reading is made up of 100 samples. A custom tech-tight test allows you to take up to 10 test points. Each test point can comprise between 1 and 1,000 sample readings. On both the Fantastic and tech-tight screens you see here, you can see that the fan speed is being automatically controlled by the software. When the correct fan speed and building pressure has been achieved, the software takes the required number of readings and moves on to the next test point. This is by far the easiest way to conduct a multipoint test.